a very good morning to all the children of class 3 and welcome to your english literature class this is your shatabdi ma'am and we were doing a beautiful and a very funny chapter that is the curious baby elephant okay so already we have seen that the baby elephant was very curious and he wanted to know each and everything around him he wanted to ask the giraffe why he had spotted body he asked the ostrich about the tail he is having he also asked the he also asked the crocodile yes we will now know what happened to that crocodile he also asked the hippo why his eyes were red he also asked the baboon how melons tasted so it it it's like everywhere around the baby elephant found questions found a why it is a reason he wanted to know behind everything now one day he wanted to ask the crocodile about what he has for his dinner what he is having for his dinner so a bird called kokololo he told he told that you will meet the crocodile in a so and so place so what the kokololo bird said let's see go to the grey green greasy limpopo river she said you will find your answer there so off he went carrying a load of bananas sugar cane and melons he would be hungry on his way you see after a week of trudging and budging what is budging moving trudging walking slowly with uh, and heavily because of tiredness like when we are tired we can't move but we drag ourselves right that is called trudging at the edge of the river he stepped on what he thought was a log of wood but it was not a log of wood it winked one eye that is it blinked one eye excuse me have you seen a crocodile in these parts asked the baby elephant the creature winked another eye and half lifted his head out said i am the crocodile he said the elephant's child got excited and knelt down and said I have been looking for you all these days he said will you please tell me what you have for your dinner now the crocodile is a very angry young fellow he was not at or he did not like the fact that the elephant disturbed him and he was awake from the sleep so what he what happens next splash went the crocodile tail back into the oozy mud came come nearer little one come nearer and i will whisper said the crocodile so and croc and remember children crocodile is a very cunning fellow so what he said he said come come little uh, baby come baby uh, come near me i will whisper in your eyes what we eat The elephant's child put his head down close to the crocodile's musky tusky mouth and the crocodile caught him by his little nose. <gasps> so what happens next? I think said the crocodile and he said in between his teeth like this, I think today I will begin with you for a dinner. Elephant's child, the elephant's child knew he was in big trouble so when when crocodile said that today i will have my dinner as you the crocod the elephant's child was in trouble and he was very sorry about himself he sat back on his haunches what are haunches back side when you when you sit on your back and he pull lower lower back actually he pulled and pulled like the elephant pulled and the crocodile also splashed what plus uh, splashed water and pulled see this is the picture they were pulling each other from each other end okay uh, at last the crocodile let go thud fell the elephant right on the broad back he looked at his nose he could not see where it ended it was long so 
he could swim it around swing swish it around like left to the extreme and then to the right like this but it hurt him awfully obviously it will hurt him because it was badly bitten by the crooked crocodile he so he wrapped the nose in cool banana leaves and waited for it for it to shrink means he wanted that nose to shrink back to its original shape that is the small one which was the shape of a boot but it did not so he waited and waited but nothing happened he could still swish it all around and from the front to the back at the end of the third day a fly came and stung him on the shoulder before he knew what he was doing he lifted up his tongue trunk and hit that fly dead with the end of it so he was happy obviously that he could use the long trunk for some work okay now the rest of the part that is what he does with the trunk and how he goes back to his parents that we will see the last part in the next video till then you will read the lessons children thoroughly and also enjoy while reading it okay you will read with expressions so that it is a little interesting for you okay nothing else i'm giving today for the weekend please read the curious baby elephant that's all for today and have a good weekend